Today I wanted to take you along with me through another day in my life just on one of my days off and yes I'm gonna talk about my hair because if you've watched my videos before you know this is not a normal look for me I've had platinum blonde hair or like bleached blonde for like 15 years nearly and I figured it was time for a change I have changed my color a little bit over the years I think once I tried to do this sort of natural type blonde for a bit and this is pretty close to my actual natural color as well. I've done pastel colors over the top of the blonde and even tried black hair on me for like a couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks and then I changed back. So my hair bounces back pretty well. But yeah, I figured it was time for a change and I either thought I could cut it. I was thinking like short blonde cut at about chin length or I thought I would keep the length, which I've obviously done and just go back to sort of a natural blonde or light brown. And so far, so good. I think I like it. I've had it for about a week and I guess the response from my friends has been pretty positive. Uh, I don't know, I, I guess that sounds kind of up myself, but it's good to have reassurance for a big change like this. For me, it's a big change since the blonde hair was always sort of my thing, but I'll see how I go with this. Uh, anyway, apart from the hair, I actually feel like a whole new woman these days. I am not, I don't have the lashes on today. That's not like some sort of big deal or anything. I'm just waiting on my new lash fighter to come in. So I feel a little bit different without the fluttery lashes. Um, I've got some new glues and things that I haven't tried before. So I thought I'd give those a go and wait until I get my new package, which I think I'll collect tomorrow. But apart from that, I have also gotten some more Botox. I think I've spoken about this before. I have had Botox in my jaw actually for a long time. For me, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to clench my jaw. It's obviously starting to take effect, so I can't do that too much, but I actually have more of an oval face, but when my jaw muscle builds up, it kind of goes a bit square. I clench my teeth at night, so to prevent that, I do get the Botox, and I like the sort of V-line effect it gives me. I got some more Botox in my forehead, which I've done once before at the start of the year and it fully wore off and I just decided to get it again. So I think it's slowly coming along. I mean, I have a, I'm trying to frown, I have a bit of movement left, but everything's sort of smoothing out, which I love. And lastly, I did something a little bit different as well and got a teeny weeny bit up here for the lip flip. It's very, very subtle. Um, I feel like I can only notice a little bit of project projection on my top lip, but that's it. <laughs> Other than a few changes with my looks, I guess I'll get you caught up to speed with how things have been for me lately since I haven't filmed in a bit. Um, I know I've had videos going up, but I did those a little while back and kind of took the weekend up for my birthday, which I had. I turned 29 and I know the birthday definitely sounds like the sort of catalyst for the hair change and the Botox, but that was a little bit coincidental. But my birthday was great. I loved hanging out with my friends and family. The day before I went to the beach with my sister and we spent the whole day together. That was really lovely. Went out to dinner that night. I had a relaxing birthday and went out to cocktails with my husband that night and just saw friends and family here and there. It was honestly really lovely. But I think because that was such a social weekend last week, I was kind of keen to have a quiet one this one. And basically yesterday all I did was watch Squid Game, so it's not a full weekend vlog. Um, yesterday I cleaned and watched the whole season or series of Squid Game, so that's my life right now. Uh, today though is definitely going to be still relaxing but doing a few things because I'm not attached to the TV. Now that you're all caught up to speed, I think there's one thing I have to do now and that is go and check some eBay listings since 
I've just recently started trying to sell some old clothes that I don't wear anymore on there. So I'm going to go and check that. All right, let's see what we've got. I'm really new to this eBay thing, so I'm kind of listing things pretty cheap right now. I've just got two things up, which I admittedly would probably wish I could make some more money on, but I think just seeing how I go, getting some feedback and seeing how people bid on things will be fine just to start out. Now, I feel like these cardigans sort of fly really quickly. Well, they used to back, back when I used to buy them. Um, I don't know why. I've got to sort of figure this out. I swear I listed this for 200, but it's letting people bid for 60. Huh. Okay. I mean, that that's fine. I'll, I'll see how it goes. But I've got a bidder on one of my things, which is exciting. And it looks like some people have checked. Is this interesting? I don't really know. I think I just wanted to show this because I thought it might be helpful to sort of think about for anyone, if you've got old clothes as well, that you don't wear anymore, if you needed the inspiration. I don't know, I feel like um, selling old clothes isn't that revolutionary, but you know, um, it's certainly something I hadn't really thought of until recently. And I'll just have to see how I go, but this is a bit random, this one, the vintage dress. I am definitely going to take pictures of a few more things, but what I might do is sell at least one item, probably the Dita cardigan at this rate, before I list anything else, just to see how I go and get used to the process, because even taking pictures of these two things and listing them tired me out yesterday. So I might just finish up with that. One other thing I have to do on my computer before I sort of set it aside for the day is upload my previous video. Get that checked by the brand that I worked with. Sounds so exciting. Um, I've got to send that to the Udi people just to see that they are happy with it. Um, again, if you've seen that already, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I'll link that video up here. I think it was a pretty fun one, an overnight vlog again. But I'm just going to see how that goes, uploading that. While that goes, actually, what I might do, since I'm sitting here and see it now, I might show you some of the presents that I got for my birthday last week. Is that silly? I know, I'm 29, not 9. Why am I showing my presents? But some of the things are really cool. In fact, I think everything's pretty cool, but maybe some of the things you would like to see as well. So I'm just going to go through those really quickly. Kind of like a mini haul sort of thing. Okay, I think everything is in this little pile. And I think coffee is going to get me through the day. My uh, Squid Game binge finished at like midnight, so still worth it. But I'm just going to go through the little bits that I got for my birthday. Um, first up, my sister, she got me so many cute like little pink things. I have probably one of them, like, I mean everything's exciting and cute, but this is probably the more um, exciting of all because I'll get heaps of use out of it. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I know that might sound a little bit boring to some people, but I was so excited for this when Mecca brought it out or when Mecca got Charlotte Tilbury recently. I was super keen to try this because I've heard good things and I've been so keen on skincare, especially for the past year. And I've heard that it works, you know, I mean, it works well on a lot of skin types, but I was kind of discouraged from using it back when I had oily skin. But now that my skin is dry to dare I say normal, I think that it'd be a good time to use it, but it's just so beautiful as well. I don't know how clearly it's sort of showing up. Look at that, it's just so beautiful. Don't ask me why I sort of put it back in the box, back in the gift bag. The next thing my beautiful sister got me was a Fasha, and I have used this, but only once since she gave it to me. I can't do it right now, I think, while the Botox is fresh, but I'm sure I'll get lots of use out of this coming up. You've got to see this one. It's not like a regular one. Look at that. So it's a shape of a butterfly, and it's kind of light pink. I know it looks very light on camera, but it's got pretty good contours, I'd say. Um, here, like the points, every side really. It's very interesting and again it's just beautiful. 
So I'm sure I'll get plenty of use out of that. Even in the meantime, maybe I'll just set it aside in my bathroom on one of the shelves to sort of display. But uh, yeah, this stuff is really useful to me since I complain about my jaw a lot. Obviously the Botox will help, but I think just to sort of keep my jaw in a good place, I used to really like skin rolling or jade rolling, I should say. And I think that this will just be a nice accompaniment to that in my jaw routine. And then the other thing that I got, which is still set aside, my sister got me like planner stickers as well, which I actually asked for. And I've already sort of put them away in my little stationary pencil case. Again, I'm not really doing too much convincing here saying that I'm 29. I sound like a tween, but what can I say? I actually really like planner stickers when I'm organizing and sort of getting prepared for the week, but she got me that, and then last of all, this. I don't know how clearly you can see because it's very bright, but it's a hair clip, so it looks like a flower. It's one of these claws. Maybe if I turn the brightness down. Does that sort of show it? I can't see. <laughs> but yeah, this is really adorable. So cute for spring, and I think it looked nice for the few days that I still had bleached hair when I got this. And then also now with the more natural color as well. So this is adorable. I think she got one for herself too. Very cute. And I just love all these cute little pink things. Uh, very girly, very fun. My sister knows me very well. Uh, what else did I get? My husband got me a voucher for a day spa just to go and sort of get pampered for the day, which is nice. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Hopefully sometime soon, since I think I could really enjoy that and I've just been in such a bad habit of leaving vouchers to the very last minute to use. So I'm going to try and turn over a new leaf and use that one soon. You wouldn't think it would be so hard to do, but for me it is. I think I always try and save things for a special occasion, but I'm just going to try and like enjoy things when I get them. So that's going to be something I try and do. This was the little Mecca gift. This is a hand cream from Mecca, the Mecca Cosmetica one. I got this at the time I came and bought Pillow Talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury as well, which I've packed away in my makeup drawer. I might get that though because I want to try it on, on camera now. I think they sell this hand cream and it does smell pretty nice. I haven't used it, but I had a smell. It is oud, oud and juniper berries. I don't know. I've got a lot of hand creams and for some reason I can still always use more. So that's nice. Definitely something that I will get use out of. I'm going to grab the lipstick. I bought this the other day as a little present to myself just because I feel like it's one of her more, more iconic type of products and colors or shades because she does this in so many different products. And like an idiot, I've bought lipstick at a time where we're still wearing masks even outside of the house, just like exercising. I know I can't complain too much. We're very safe and lucky here in Queensland in like the Brisbane area, but yes, I haven't had a chance to try this on. So maybe I'll just wear it today. All right, hand cream before trying to open something was not a smart choice, but I'm gonna get in there because I wanna try it. All right, I got there in the end. And yes, just again, beautiful packaging. This we all know. I'm just gonna try it on. Mm, that's a nice neutral. Or nude, I should say. I don't know if you can tell much difference, but that is a really nice nude. Um, not too brown which is nice because I feel like a lot of them lean just too brown on me, but it's also not too pink. Love that. So hopefully, hopefully I can wear it at a time where I'm not wearing masks, but at the very least today I'm home and I'm in a situation where I don't need to wear one. Actually talking about the masks reminds me, I should say I had my second vaccine the other week, I think like two weeks ago now, and I got Pfizer, I got a little bit sick, I think I might have mentioned I got a teeny weeny bit sick or maybe it was coincidental after my first one and after the second one I did as well but it was so worth it it wasn't anything serious 
I basically just felt super fatigued, needed the day off work, and I think I just had some endo symptoms. I've spoken to a few women that have endometriosis as well and kind of had bad reactions or similar reactions from the vaccine like me, even though I have heard from like medical professionals that's not meant to be the case. Maybe it's just a strange coincidence, but I'm all good now and fully vaxxed, so I'm so happy about that. One thing I noticed trying to drink through straws and put on that lipstick is a bit funny with the lip flip, so try not to mind me. Oh, I know I already mentioned the uh, like gift voucher for the day spa, but I found this. Very random, but super cute. My husband and the kids. He wrote the names on there. Um, when I say kids, I need everyone to know that it's my dogs, not human children. But yeah, that's that. Now I got, this is so random, but I love this as well. This is just a, like a plant. I want to say peace lily. I don't know that much about plants, but I'm slowly getting into them. And my sister-in-law and mother-in-law got me this. It's so cool. They're just like, do you say propagated? And hanging in this like swingy sort of thing. I mean, I think eventually I'll take them out and put them in a pot, but for now, or I think they even said I can sort of keep it in, but that looks so cool. It kind of reminds me of those um, test tubes. I know that's that sounds so dumb. I'm like, oh, it looks cool. It looks like test tubes, but for some reason, I kind of like that. I'm not such a fan of the natural wood, but I mean, it does look nice with the, with the greenery. And I've just got this on my windowsill at the moment, but I love that. I think that they said they saw it and thought of me. Not really sure why, but you know, it's cute and it doesn't take up much space. I think it's hard because I am slowly, slowly moving towards being a little bit minimalist. I never thought I'd say those words, but things like trying to sell my old clothes that I don't wear anymore, and I do actually ask people around birthdays, like, I don't want stuff, so that's fine, that doesn't take up much space, and it's something kind of useful, maybe I can put other, like, cutoffs in there when I get that out, I'll have to see, but apart from that, I just got a bunch of little snacky things, I think they got me, like, vegan peanut brittle and, like, nice maple coffee, and... I think that's it. I mean, a few people got me tiny little things, like, not to put it down, my boss got me like a bottle of wine, which was very considerate of her. Apart from the lipstick, there was also something that I got for myself as well. I'll just show you now. It's the Ray-Ban Stories. So these are the glasses with the cameras and speakers in. And I got this just after my birthday. I ordered it before, but I got it with my prescription. I think it's in my bedroom, so I'm just gonna go and grab it. All right, I've grabbed my glasses and I have to change my battery, so this might look different, but. With the new hair as well, I feel like I just look so different. But these are the glasses. I haven't updated in a while, so I was kind of keen to get them, especially since they're a bit different. Oh no, I hope I'm not low battery. I was going to show you what this looks like. I think I might need to charge up, but that's not bad considering I think I've only charged these for once and I've had them for over a week. I normally go for like, you know, light sort of ones, but this is something different and I guess it's cool as well. I've got the speakers. I've been able to listen to like audiobooks while I've been working. Don't tell anyone. And yeah, I've loved the camera for taking pictures of the pups, but I'll show you the camera quality in a bit. I figured maybe it would come in handy to take little clips here and there, potentially for videos. The quality is not great, but I do like the point of view perspective. I'm just going to get these some juice and I'm going to tidy up these things. We got to pump the brakes. <laughs> I can't charge my glasses. Uh, I am part of the iPhone cult and only have things that, you know, they charge lightning port to USB. But this is just USB type C as it's in and output. And I have no way, nothing to plug this into because that's kind of, that's kind of a sh shame that it doesn't go into an actual USB charger, but 
I don't know. I, I feel like most people would have these plugs. I don't, so I need to buy one before I can charge them up and show you. Maybe I'll do that today, or maybe Bren is out at the moment, so I'll see if I can bring one back for me, but that would have been fun to share if I was more prepared. Still, nevertheless, I will get on packing things up. <laughs> All right, now that my space here is fully tidy, I'm gonna make a mess again because I remembered I have another package of things to open in this kind of a haul, but not really segment. I got a package from Meshki last week. I am slowly moving towards being a little bit minimalist. It's not so bad as it seems, I promise. I bought a dress from them in June that I returned and rather than refunding, they gave me a voucher, so. I mean, at the time, I definitely would have appreciated the refund, but ultimately, I did find a few pieces instead of the one dress that I bought originally. I think I've got like four or five things, so I'm going to open it up. All right, I'm just going to start working my way through all of these things. I do have them in plastic, but I think this is like compostable. Compostable? We want to get back into composting soon, but for now, I'm just going to have to do with the recycling, sort of plastic recycling. This first item is a top. I think it's very hard to show, but it looked so nice on the website. It's like a halter with a chain. It'll be easier to show in pictures or like try on clips. Kind of like a cream. I think they described it as white, but I almost prefer this color. And a gold chain around the neck. It's like um technically detachable if I wanted to wear the necklace. Although I do need it on there to wear the top, so I wouldn't want to separate those for too long. But this is the Esther Chain Halter Twist Crop, and I got it in a size small. I think I got everything in a size small, since that's what I seem to fit in the size charts. Although I will say, the dress that I bought originally, that dress was a size small, and it was too big. I think it was because it was like diamante fabric, so a bit of an odd fit, but yeah. I would not expect to be like extra small or anything in their sizing, but maybe that dress just ran big. The next dress seems a little bit random at first, but it actually really appeals to me. It's kind of like a knitwear dress, but it's close to being a mini, although on me maybe it will be a midi. But it's this lovely green, it's knitwear, and it's got a collar. I know it seems so random and not something like I'd like at all, but I've been loving green for the longest time. This is the Brandy Button Down Knit Mini Dress, and it reminds me of a dress that I've seen with Jean, like the brand do, and I really like their stuff. But yeah, I got one of these. I think it'll still be okay to wear since it's not too hot yet, but I'm sure it'll be something I will get wear out of in the coming years, hopefully. I think that this is something that I will continue to like. And if not, obviously I can sell clothes that I don't wear anymore. I kind of thought coming up to the festive season two that green would be a good choice. So, speaking of green, I've got another green piece here. And I think this might be something to wear to like a Christmas party. I know I'm way, way too early to be talking about Christmas, but wait till you see it. This is like a satin, slightly cowl neck strappy dress. It is Tabitha cowl neck midi dress. So, so beautiful. I would not normally wear green, like I said, in the past, but lately I've been loving it. And I think that this could be a nice mix up for me to wear to like a Christmas function. Normally I'm kind of wearing red or plain white. I don't have anything green. So yeah, I just had to round that out a bit as well. It's really nice quality too. And I think it could be nice for maybe like a very casual, not casual, that's the wrong word for sure, but um, you know, an easy to wear dress as a wedding guest or something. Not that I've got any engaged friends, but I've got a couple of divorced friends who are back on the market, so you never know. Uh, this seems so funny, but for real, I feel like I've got a lot of wear. Oh my God, that's a bit more glitzy than I thought. This is like a toweling sort of velour onesie. And I didn't realize before, but there's literally diamantes on the zipper. This was part of their 2000s collection. Look at the tag. It's one of the old flip phones. And on the back, it's got diamantes that say Angel. I know, it's gaudy, but I love it. And I think that this could be something I would sort of relax in around the house. Real talk right now. When I was trying to get into this, I ripped it. 
Yeah, so, um, I tried this on, could not get it over past my hips. Tried the blue one on and it had a bit of stretch. Tried this one again and I thought if I give it a good reef over the hips, it might stretch. Something pinged off. I think it was one of the Diamantes. Yep, that looks about right. And it ripped down past the zipper. So, I'm really glad I can sew. I'll be able to fix this. I don't know exactly how, but I will figure it out. Nevertheless, I was able to squeeze myself in. Now that it's on, it actually fits pretty well, but God, <laughs> I just could not get it up over my hips without ripping. It's a bit frustrating, but considering I, you know, normally do videos from here up, if I wear this in a video, no one's going to be able to tell. And, you know, as long as I reinforce it so that it doesn't like continue to rip, then I think it'll be okay. But yeah, live and learn. Um, don't force clothes up <laughs> when they're not fitting. It's just strange because it does have stretch, just none around the hips. Oh well, glad I made it work in the end. And again, I can sew. And last of all, I got one pretty similar, but this is blue and it is a strapless, I think. Again, sort of, this one seems, yeah, kind of toweling. I think they described it as velour, but I don't know. It's, again, just a onesie, shorts, and this one is strapless. I love the blue color. And on the back, on the bum, it says peachy. So 2000s and gaudy, but I love it. I think it'll be comfortable to sort of wear and obviously not really something I'm gonna wear out of the house unless I go to a 2000s sort of themed party, then I'll be set. Truthfully, I'm thinking already ahead of time to my 30th, which is a year away, obviously, and I do wanna have a 2000s theme, but I think I need to go bigger and better than something like that, but yeah. Uh, that's definitely the vibe that I'm feeling for some reason. I just think a 2000s themed costume party will be amazing, but it's a whole year away, so I don't need to think about it too much. And of course, we've got more rubbish to clean. Um, I'm going to bundle up all the plastic, ready to recycle that and find a home for those clothes, and then I might get on to lunch. All right, here's my lunch. It's leftovers from yesterday. It's kind of a recipe that I've stolen from a takeaway place in the city. I always used to get these and um, I mean, I haven't bought one in a bit, but I've just started making them at home. It's basically tofu and mushroom cooked in teriyaki sauce with rice and salad on the side. It sounds so random, but it's really delicious. So I'm just about to eat. All right, it's a little while after lunch. When I finished eating, I had a bit of lazy time and just watched a whole bunch of Squid Game analysis videos on YouTube, which was pretty fun but I've decided I'm gonna be productive for the rest of the day and get a few more things done. Some of it is self-care and some of it is just little tasks. So I've come to my local shopping center. I need to get some groceries. Even though I did my grocery shop yesterday or grocery order, I ordered online for it to be delivered and for the first time ever, because I've done this a few times, like two bags worth of groceries was missing. So quite a bit of food, like fruit and veg and also tofu and a whole bunch of vegan cheeses just didn't show up even though I was charged for them so I am getting refunded for that but I still need those things so I've come out to get those and I also have a massage voucher that I'm going to use I think I got this for my birthday last year and I haven't used it yet but it's got a really long expiry so I'm gonna do that since my back has really been hurting part of why I did the online shopping order but yeah, I, I'm just going to get these things done. Shouldn't be out for too long. And then I think for the rest of the afternoon, if I can, I will work out and definitely play with the dogs as well. Or maybe take them on a walk since the weather's nice. All right, I've booked in for my massage. I've just got to wait 15 minutes. And I popped into Kmart to kill time. And surprisingly, I know it's early days, there's Christmas stuff up. So let's have a little look. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the country 
countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far back home from my massage and we've just made some coffees for the afternoon to get through the rest of the day. I've got Bren on the sparkling cold brew today. Uh, it's basically half a can of San Pellegrino and the rest is cold brew. I normally like making these with espresso if I'm out. I know it looks a bit weird to order sparkling water and a shot of espresso but we don't have a coffee machine at home anymore so the cold brew works just as well. But if you add espresso it kind of froths up and looks like a beer or something. Anyway, I'm just gonna have some now. Mm. This is so refreshing, very easy to drink, especially since it is 30 degrees, so it's still spring, but it feels really hot today. And I think we have a way to cool down. We might be going to the in-laws for a swim. All right, I forgot to share, but earlier around lunchtime, Brennan came through and got me a plug. So I could plug in my glasses case and charge up my glasses. I'm filming this on them right now. So I'll have to look back at this footage. I can't actually see how bright I look right now, but I am filming in here through this camera. I don't know if you can see the light, but these are really fun. I love using them mainly for pictures of the dogs. And I think I said before, it might come in handy for vlogs, but I will be taking these off now since we are going for a swim. I'm just going to grab my other glasses and sunscreen and my swimmers and get out the door. swim which was so nice the dogs loved it Quinny really only just jumps in and out of the pool sort of on the steps but Macy hops in and swims so they had fun I had a good swim even though like it's a hot day the water was still a little bit cool so I don't know it'll get easier as the weather warms up even further but one downside I got bitten by like a midgey or a sandfly or something on my cheek so it looks a little red but I'm basically just gonna have a little snack because I'm so hungry. Brent's in the shower, then I'm gonna have one as well since I like got in the water and everything. I've gotta wash my hair, but I've got a little snack here. I'll put it down to show you. So what I've got here is just a red apple with some almond butter on. It's so nice, but I'm just gonna have my quick snack and then jump in the shower. All right, I've washed my hair and also made dinner. I feel like I'm cooking myself since it's really hot, uh, especially in front of the stove, but I am so excited for dinner. I've made all these sort of breakfast foods. That's some vegan scrambled egg in there, spinach, and I've just been keeping other things warm like some tomatoes, mushrooms, and hash browns, but I'm just gonna serve up and show everything that we have. All right, here's dinner all served up. I think I showed everything as I was cooking it. So we've got some vegan scrambled egg, a few veggies like tomatoes, spinach, and mushrooms, garlic mushrooms. I've got my hash brown and some baked beans as well. It smells so good. I never really make hot breakfast too often. So having the extra time 
is quite nice to make it for dinner tonight. But before it gets cold, I'm just going to start eating. Who's ready for Dexter? I know I am, but it's a good thing you two are asleep. Alright, we're done with dinner and done with dishes as well. Now we're just set up to watch some TV, both Bran and myself in the pups. I've got to say as well, my hair dried down pretty well, pretty quickly, I think because it's been so hot in the kitchen, but it's kind of doing this loose wavy thing, which I actually really like with this color. I think before I much preferred my quite light hair to be either strictly straight or curly or wavy, not this half messy thing, but I kind of like it with this color. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, we're all set up to watch and basically from here, I'm just going to switch off, enjoy the night with my little family. But before I go, I just wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. But like I said, I will be leaving you here and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.